Hey, Snickers back. Okay. No, I've done a tiny core video the other day, didn't I? Okay. And some of you seem to have liked it. Okay, because I've not done tiny core for quite a long while. And one of you guys said, uh, I'm not very good at Linux. Can you show me how to install tiny core? Okay. Well, in the olden days, it was quite complicated. To be really honest with you, it was quite complicated. Well, it wasn't. It just a pain at the backside really to get installed. But when you like Linux so much and you don't mind delving into stuff, it's quite easy. But say you just want to give it a go, you know, and you want a quick install and go from there. So what I've done, I've got it in the box here. So that's why I think it's quite large in the screen. And we'll change that in a moment for you, okay? So if you just hang on a moment and we'll go down here. So we've got our exit editor. As you can see, it's quite a dodgy resolution, isn't it? Now we can go to Alt here and we can see we're in Xfessa, okay? So I press N and enter. It says I'm going to 16 by 1200. But I can't because I can't save it. So it would always boot in this via the live CD, okay? Okay. You don't actually need anything else in the control panel, okay? Everything's there ready for you to use. So this is how you nowadays, I wish it was like this all these years ago, how to install Tiny Core. You go to TC Install, you click, and there we go. So we've got the path ready for you to install. Oh, how easy that is. So we're going to do a whole disk install, because you want to put a whole disk, don't you? Okay, you might not want to. If you want to do an existing partition, it's entirely up to you. But for ease of use and just for playing around, especially in the box, this is the one you want, okay? So click on whole disk, and it's found my disk already. And it's even unpartitioned, it's not even formatted. It will do it for you. So we click on SDA. Do I want to install a bootloader? Well, yeah, really, I do, don't I? Really, in all honesty. So we go forward. So I really actually need to be formatted to X3 or 4 because there's no format at all, is there? So we need that. Okay, forward again. You can go down this as much as you like, but if you've never used Tiny Core before, leave it alone, walk away, and let it do its stuff. So we go forward. Right, now this is the main thing you want to do. Say it's on a laptop, you might want Wi Fi support, so you might want to click here. And you also might want wireless firmware. And if you've got really weird wireless, you might want NDS wrapper as well. So I'm going to click that as well. Now, do you want a remaster tool so you can remaster it, so you can make your own tiny core stuff and then burn the disk? You might want to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click that as well. So we go forward. So that's going to mount it from my CD because it's so large for a CD, you know, like 64 meg. Actually, this is the Core Plus version. So that's 128 meg. We're doing a frugal. It's going to SDA, EXT format. We're going to give us GUI support, Wi-Fi support, NDS wrapper, wireless firmware tool, and a remaster tool as well. So we're going to proceed with that. And we'll just wait for it to do its stuff. Okay. dum de dum 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 Don't take long at all, actually. While we're waiting, I'll have a bit of drinkage. Okay. I had tea earlier, did you notice? Tea, yes, real tea. I Means sneaky you had tea. She had biscuits. I didn't have any. I was been really good. Well, I mean, look, already, it's already done. And that's all you need to do, okay? There will be no other prompts for you to do anything else, okay? Just close the box. And that's it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to exit. And what will happen when the next time we see we see you? We were booting from our, our hard drive installation. So I'll see you in a couple of ticks, okay? So I'm going to okay. See you in a minute. Okay. We're back. Yes, we're back. We're back. But well, this is the actually installed Tiny Core, okay? Now, this is where you can start changing some things, okay? So the resolution is terrible, isn't it? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Even if you do it on real hardware, don't do it on new machines. It may not work. It all depends on your graphics card and stuff like that. There may not be the drivers there to run it. Or it just went wrong. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to our control panel. I'm going to Xvesa, so I can get a, a better resolution, really. Now, 1024 by 768 is not really good enough, so I'm going to press N, as it says. So next is N. Click Enter. And it says I can get 69 by 1200 by 24. So I'm going to click ooh, 26. 26. Press Enter. Now, what are you using? A USB mouse? USB imps mouse, PS2 mouse, a com button. You don't know? Just press 1 for now. That, ooh, that went too far there. Wait, wait. 1 for now. And we're done. Now what I'm going to do now is close that down. Go to exit again. And now you can see 
It's actually saving to our hard drive, okay? So I'm going to click that to reboot. I'm going to click OK again, and I'll see you in a couple of seconds, okay? Hey, we're back. Right, we've rebooted into our new system, and doesn't that look a lot better, okay, already? And now you're ready to play with your new Tiny Core system. Now, one of the first things you want to do, before you do anything, make sure you've got Ethernet plugged in, or you've set up your wireless, is go down here, and we go down to Apps. And it's the first run, because we've not run it before. Now it wants to find the fastest mirror, so what we're going to do, we're going to click yes. And wait for it to do its stuff. Now this can take some time, it all depends where you are in the world, to be honest with you. It normally ticks the main one for me, or the Netherlands. Netherlands is normally quick for me for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, no, it's the repo tinycore.net. So we click that OK. And there we have it. So if you wanted to search for your apps now, and start building your Tinycore system, to cloud and browse, like I said before in the previous video, you can do what you want to. You know, it's all there. So if I just go down to just before we finish the video, we go down to air crack. Uh, there's quite a few here. Is the name to UI one? Oh, what's that? Oh, Ace of Penguins. There you go. That will do. Yeah, look. So we're gonna go and that will be ready on boot. Can you see? You can change that there to on demand, on boot, download and load, or download only. So we're gonna do that on boot, and we go go. Done. See how easy that was? Yes. Super duper. On real hardware, you may get it to be able to recognise your proper resolution. Remember, I've got a really big monitor here. It's a 27, 28 inch monitor. So finding the right graphics card and the drivers to go with it are quite difficult. Okay. But yeah, that's how you install Tiny Core. Lovely. I love it. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you those. Bye-bye.